Welcome back to Ravenfield. Today, we're gonna take this helicopter, load it with troops, and attack this port facility that is heavily defended. We're gonna try to land the helicopter in the center of town and take the flag. This is gonna be no easy feat. As you can see, they've got some pretty advanced anti-aircraft guns, missile systems, more anti-aircraft guns, tons of vehicles. And did I say anti-aircraft guns? Yeah, they got a lot. But there's gonna be a catch. If we fail to succeed on our first attempt, with this version of the helicopter, we're gonna heavily modify it. So right now, I'm actually expecting to fail. But in that failure, we will learn and we will build a better beast. Now this thing is called the Dragoon. Oh, you can see the anti-aircraft guns already opening up. My side door gunners, you know what? I've got two, I might want a few more in the next version. And look at that, we've got anti-aircraft guns basically triangulating us right now. One from the left, one from the right in I think at least two directly ahead of us. Oh, we've also got a missile lock and enemy fighters are inbound. Let's drop some chaff and start hitting the deck. Now my helicopter is getting absolutely beat up. You know what? Another thing we might need on this thing, other than more side door gunners and a few more troops, is maybe some landing skids. Yeah, pretty much everybody's dead. And I'm dead too, so attempt number one didn't work. I'm gonna give some instructions to Sofa, one of the best modders in Ravenfield, and see what he comes up with. All right, so Baron wants modifications to the Dragoon Transport Helicopter from Vanilla Plus. Item one, elongated fuselage with room for 10 passengers. Simple enough. Ugh, this is some grody geometry. Who modeled this? Oh, right, I did, three years ago. Curse you, me from three years ago. We're going to have to change the rotor arrangement to a tandem setup if we want to accommodate the modified fuselage. Well, I mean, we don't have to do anything. I just think it looks cooler that way. Item two, swap out the landing gear for skids. I have no idea why, but you know what? To each their own. Item number three, two additional door gunners. I don't feel like dealing with me from three years ago's crummy geometry, so I'm just gonna bully in it. Very lazy, but it more or less gets the job done. Don't do this at home, kids. Build good habits with your topology. Tossing it into Unity, let's set up our prefab. Twice the length equals twice the HP. Trust me, that's totally how it works. And since it's a longer version of the Dragoon, we shall call it the Dragoon. There was an item number four, a manual engine cutoff switch, but I couldn't get it working right. I wrote a script that changes thrust and lift settings when you press the spacebar. But no matter what I set them to, the helicopter ends up still being able to maintain or increase altitude. So I'm afraid hard landings will have to be done manually. One spiffy paint job later and I think she's ready to roll. Now back to Baron to see if she's up to snuff. So we're back on the ship and oh my god did he deliver. Okay, so we've got the four miniguns, two on either side, and we have the landing skids, which I'm thinking are gonna help us increase our hot landings, which I fully expect to do on that beach over there. So in the mod notes, I realized that he named this thing the Dragoon because it's essentially just a longer Dragoon. <laughs> All right, this thing, I don't know if it's just me or flying it better or if it's it flying faster. I mean, we do have two helicopter propellers now, right? So, <laughs> these guys better be strapped in, man. We've also got twice the hit points and I think we've got maybe twice as many men. Oh, wow. We're moving in so fast that we're just now starting to face some enemy resistance. Now, there is a missile lock, but I don't know where it's from. So we're gonna drop the chaff, and we're gonna try our hot landing right here, and we are getting absolutely wrecked, but the new... Ooh, <laughs> okay, it kinda worked. Oh! Oh my gosh, do we need to be even faster? All right, boys, Um, we, we've gotta take the objective. Now, this is one of those moments that I think is just what makes Ravenfield so amazing. We're attacking a, a relatively... Son of a biscuit! Steel Raven is the developer of the game and he airstruck me. I don't think he likes what we're doing. Oh. So, 
Version two warrants a second test. So it's definitely faster. And for some odd reason, it feels a little bit more maneuverable. Now, I don't have any command of any weapon systems at all or any repair systems. So that's not gonna help us. But I'm already thinking instead of basically kind of the Chinook style twin helicopter rotors, I'm thinking we turn this thing into VTOL. <laughs> and you know what? 14 troops isn't enough. I think... <laughs> I think Sofa is going to hate this next request because I've got a maniacal idea. I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to duplicate it. Not like in length or in width. I'm talking two of these things side by side connected by a wing. I'm going to draw a sketch for him. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. Okay. Drop the chaff. We're getting absolutely shredded. Hot landing, hot landing, hot landing, hot landing. Oh, not on the fence. No. Everybody out. Everybody out. This was not the landing I had hoped for. But is 14 men enough? Oh, not again. Okay. Uh, yeah. Air support is pretty impressive. And we got completely surrounded, so the amount of time we have to take the flag is short. We're gonna need twice the men. And we're gonna do it by just multiplying this thing by two. Okay, new batch of specs just came in for version two. Let's see what... Oh boy. So, a uh, mirrored... Fuselage, simple enough. Wings to accommodate a tilt rotor setup, I think. I mean, that's looking, uh... Yeah. Strapped on some downsized versions of the Atlas's engines. Two chain guns and a central rocket pod. And since there's one unused seat left up front, I'm just gonna throw in some laser-guided missiles on the house. Because at this rate... You know what? Why not? We're gonna call it the Dragoon. Wrap everything up and call it done. Thanks, Baron. I hate it. Okay, he said all I've got to do is go into vehicles and I'll know it when I see it. So go to transport helicopter. <laughs> it's the Dread Dragoon. <laughs> oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, he added missiles on the side. Those look like laser guided. It's got the rocket pods. It's got the four mini guns on either side. Four VTOL rotors. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of that airship from Avatar. So quick flight test. Now I have offensive weaponry. 40 rockets. Beautiful. Um, and that's all I control. I don't know who controls the AWS. Oh, hold on. This is very slow. Oh, we switched into VTOL mode. Now, VTOL mode is one of the reasons why I wanted these skids. I wouldn't say we're necessarily faster, but <laughs> this thing is a beast. They <laughs> see me rolling in the... <laughs> oh my god, okay. So, assuming we survive, we airstrike the place with rockets, and we come in hot with a ski landing. Oh, just as we intended. Everybody bails out. We don't get chopped up by the helicopter blades. Now, I wanted people to get out in the middle, according to the sketch, but this is a far more practical design. And then we just assault it. So, I mean, there's no way this can fail, right? All right, driver's seat. Whoa. Oh, this is the laser-guided missiles. <laughs> Let's see if I can't hit there. Yeah, okay. Oh. The side miniguns. Okay, this is gonna work. Now, as this part of the modded series challenge, the modded, modded challenge series, I want you guys to leave your suggestions and ideas for how we could make another episode. All right, we're switching to VTOL, and we're underway. Now, I guess the advantage of this is we can stay pretty low, and it's a little bit easier because now this thing flies like an airplane instead of a helicopter. The advantages of science the military industrial complex <laughs> and my insane imagination. All right, where's the missile coming in from? All right, we've got so much more firepower. I've got to switch to manual mode and just start rocket potting everybody. And hot landing, don't get hit by the palm tree. Oh no, everybody out, everybody out. How many men do we have? We have 31 men. Now, 
This was not a good landing, as you can tell by this man who's flying and probably gonna break his neck. Hold on, once he passes, covering fire. This guy's firing a shotgun at long range. All right, boys, let's do this. Now we start with 31, we've already got 25. We're moving in. Oh, uh, this looks like it's a little bit hot and contested. What if we went this way? All right, everybody, everybody follow me. Guys, come here, regroup on me. Re regroup on me through through the wall. Don't don't run around guys. Do not run around the wall. Oh my god Okay, the AI is super smart. There's a sniper over there man. That's good camo. Oh, there's a freaking guard gate Come on boys. We've got to do this now. That was a terrible landing. So we are going to do another attempt We're down to 19 men. Oh, there's a door. I guess we could have used that. Oh What happened to that guy? Oh, there goes their air support. What's interesting is we're not getting carpet bombed anymore. I'm lost. I feel like that scene in Black Hawk Down where the two guys are just running around Mogadishu and have no idea where they need to go. All right. I think we're getting closer because I can hear this. Oh, no. The AI is bringing these things in. Uh, they're not necessarily the best at flying, <laughs> as you can tell. Now, there is an AI-friendly... Helicopter mode one. Yeah, I don't think that guy's gonna make it. <laughs> How did this guy pass flight school? Okay, how many men do I got left? 14? We can still do this. Oh, Blitz, you're playing Ravenfield again. Oh, uh oh. Uh oh, guys. Take that guy out. Oh, well, that was dumb. Oh. Oh! Killed myself? It's time for attempt two. I think if we didn't hit that palm tree, we would have succeeded. All right, go. So looking at the map, we might want to come in at an angle and use that road as a runway. We also might get shot less by any aircraft, but I can't guarantee that. All right, so we're getting pretty close to when I need to start making my turn. We're also not target locked this time. Oh, there we go. Spoke too soon. Oh God, this thing's heavy. <laughs> oh, we almost ran that guy over. All right, we have 31 people alive. Uh, yikes. <laughs> Are you okay? Here, have a med kit. Oh, there's the machine gunner that killed us last time. Everybody on me. So we've only lost one guy so far. And we're storming these anti aircraft guns, which should, in theory, make it easier for our guys to land more. If the AI could fly these things, which I don't think they can. All right, so what I need to do is send them, oh God. Oh my goodness. Screw it. We're doing a hot landing on the flag. I don't know if that means we go VTOL right before we get there. Now, if this was multiplayer, I could have a human being fire those laser guided missiles to soften up the enemy. Oh, those machine guns, man. All right, where's that flag? It's right there. Oh, switched. Oh. Oh, this is not good. All right, boys. Now, what I should be able to do is use, you know what? <laughs> the mini gunners are trying to hit that guy on the machine gun. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. And everybody stormed this flag. Oh, we immediately took it. So the good news is, is this works in the modded series, our first attempt at live modding in the video. First off, did you guys like it? What kind of vehicle would you like to see us try to do next? What kind of challenge? This one's one of my favorites in that we're aerially assaulting. I also like amphibious assaults. A heavily defended position. Wow. Yeah, I'd say I'd say that worked pretty well. Uh, we have 22 men still left alive in the squad. The only issue is the AI still can't really fly them. So thank you for watching another episode of Ravenfield. This one was a little bit special. Also, make sure to go check out Sofa's video. It's going to be linked at the end. So, or I guess right here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one.